If you are one of the hundreds of thousands of student loan borrowers who are currently enrolled in or you think you may qualify for student loan forgiveness through the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program, you need to know in May the program is going dark for a few months and before that happens, there are a few things you need to do right now. So first, before you panic, the program is not going away. The program has been around since the Bush administration. It's not going anywhere. But in an effort to streamline things now, the Education Department is changing the way the PSLF program is processed. They are taking the processing away from Mohila and migrating it over to studentaid.gov. That way, the Department of Education can keep a closer eye on it. So your actual loan will stay with your loan provider but after the migration, you'll be able to submit all your applications and forms and track your progress and get PSLF support straight through contact setters and the new dashboard on your studentaid.gov account. But in order to make all those changes starting on May 1st, the program will be dark until some point in July. So if you're already enrolled in the program, you will not be able to access your PSLF progress, certified employment, or payment counts through Mohila's borrower portal. You will also not be able to get any information about your PSLF account from the Federal Student Aid Information Center. And if you think you may qualify for the program and you want to apply for it, you can, but your application will not be processed until this program is fully reopened sometime in July. Now, very important, even though the PSLF program is dark in May and June and maybe part of July, you will still need to make your student loan payments to your loan servicers. Those do not stop. But during those migration months, you will not be able to see the updates to your PSLF payment account. Don't freak out. Your payments are being counted and your portal will be updated with your payments after the migration is complete in July. So what do you need to do right now? If you are in the PSLF program now, the Department of Education suggests you go into your PSLF tracking portal and you take screenshots of everything. Plus, if you have any correspondence in that portal, you need to save it for your own records. You need to do all of that before April 30th. And if you're in a rush to get into the PSLF program and you think you qualify for it and you want to apply, you should submit your application before everything shuts down on April 30th. So if you want to read everything about this, all the documentation from the Department of Education, I'm going to email it out to you tonight, Monday, in my News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.